Hello. Ignore me. I've got really bad allergies. No, you look great. I look horrendous, and that's fine. No, you know, I, I know where I am. You know what I mean? I know where I sit on the scale. I'm about a three at the moment. Anyway, who An cares? An 11. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not about this right now. Well, before we left for our trip, we announced that we were going to do behind the scenes gear. Well, guess what? He's the behind the scenes. You asked for behind the scenes. Here we are. We're sitting at Alice Springs Caravan Park, Discovery Park. There's a ute. We're just catching up on some... Oh, that reminds me of that washing's in the machine. We've just crossed the Plenty Highway, right? So we thought... Australia's longest shortcut. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Well, it goes cool. further, but... It sounds good. Just keep yeah. it in. <laughs> it was a stunning road. Really, really stunning. There's some information out there. Not all of it is up to date. Well, we were umming and ahhing whether we should do it because there was a lot of information saying it's dangerous and it's dead, blah, blah, blah. And then we spoke to our family members that had done it and they're like, oh, you'll be fine. It's so great. So yeah, so we decided to do it and I honestly recommend you could do that trip in like a day or two straight across from Longreach to Alice Springs. But we really recommend taking it slowly, stopping, and we have a baby, so we were forced to stop. We can only do little stints. We can't do our insane trips like we used to, driving 12 hours a day to get to where we need to. So um, yeah, it was. we were forced to stop every four, three or four hours and stay the night, which we did, and it was beautiful. There were so many beautiful spots, hidden jams, pubs in the middle of nowhere, it was great. Fantastic. Really loved it. And we'll show you some of the footage. Yeah. Yeah, I'll whack some footage up. Can Maybe you, some pretty music over the top. Can you edit this to make us sound more interesting? Because yeah. I'm tired. My little editing space. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. This is what it's really like putting together a TV show from a caravan. As you can see here, about 10 days worth of footage. We've got a month left and climbing. This is on public internet. <laughs> Hi, Ted. Hi, Ted. It's me. Look fabulous as ever. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, show everyone my nighty. I'm in my nighty and it's 2 p.m. because I had a shower and I was so cold. So I put my pajamas. It's not on. cold, by the way. It's mid twenties. I'm just, I'm just feeling. I'm just not feeling 100% at the moment. Look at my. Wait, wait, wait for it. Little Miss Dog Lover. Ted loves this nighty. He thinks it's so great. And I love Ted. <laughs> and Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And then I'll come back. We'll come back and we'll give you. A few quick tips for the Plenty Highway. Yeah. Bye.
and we're back hope you enjoyed that um, <laughs> in real time um we it's, this is about two seconds after we last spoke to you yeah. number one tip though make sure you pack a jerry can filled with fuel just in case you don't make it because mm, sometimes you never know sometimes the stations may not have sometimes fuel. they're closed yeah closed yeah if you get in late or too early they might not be open so got to think about that yeah um so the first stop we made was oh sorry and also pack your food, mm, make, pack food. make sure you pack your food before you go because there's little shops with really basic bits and pieces but you need to pack your meals full esky and a jerry can and that's plenty all. of water and plenty of water that's all you really need to be honest and a uhf radio I mean, the list goes on. And you don't have reception out there at all. So be prepared. Tell people where you are. Also, bring a good attitude. And a smile on your face. <laughs> we were travelling east to west. What was our... So we left from Bulya. And then mm -hmm. where did we stop first? Middleton. At the pub in Middleton. Was that... Was, was it? That then? Shit, Jordan. <laughs> we can't remember. I think so. Yeah, and then on to. to was it? Toblamore? Oh, yeah. Toblamore. Couple of hundred Ks, bit over 200 Ks. Then we stopped at Jervois. Yeah. I'm not sure if you pronounce that correctly. Yeah, Jervois. Yeah. To, so. We filled up for fuel there. You can stay the night there. Toblamore, though. Toblamore was beautiful. It was an amazing spot. I highly recommend staying there. It's $35 for a campsite. It helps out the locals. And it was a beautiful green patch of grass, fresh water. It was just a really nice vibe. We had three beautiful cows and it was stunning. I really enjoyed that stay. Yeah, Toblamore was cool. Uh, no power there. But they do have water, treated bore water that you can drink. And then next, yes, was Jervois. And then we just filled up fuel at Jervois. We felt like Ted was in a good mood. He was just sleeping in the car, which was good. So we thought we can push on. So we pushed on to Gemtree. Another couple hundred Ks. And that was a great place to stay. We stayed there for two nights. It was fantastic, powered site. There was a little shop there. They deliver your food via quad bike, which was great. That was cool as. Sunrise and sunset was absolutely stunning. We did have smoke and a bushfire close by, but apart from that, it's fine. It's fine. No one was panicking. It was all under control. There's a real relaxed attitude to fires in the Territory, which we found alarming for a bit. But I guess, you know, they're doing burn offs all the time. and Yeah, they knew what they were doing. Yeah, that's right. We're just like, no ah, smoke! I'm just freaked out and everyone's like, it's fine. You can tell you're not from here. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a couple of hundred Ks between each stop. A couple other tips just about your gear. Uh, we let our tyres down a little bit, which helped sort of take the load off the gear, you know, because it can be quite corrugated, particularly that section after Toblamore. Basically from the Northern Territory border for about two or three hundred kilometers it was pretty rough wasn't it bit corrugated a couple of sort of bulldust holes but if you're just driving carefully don't rush you'll be fine but yeah we took a bit of pressure out of the tires in the caravan and, and the car mm -hmm. and that just stops everything from vibrating too much and also just makes it a bit more comfortable and also um prevents punctures uh, the other thing that was huge for us was our Dometic dust reduction system. In our caravan. Yeah. It was really great. So it pushes, uh, it pushes fresh water, fresh water. <laughs> it pushes fresh air in and pushes all the dust out. So that helps massively because the roads were pretty dusty when we got into our caravan. It was fine. Yeah. Yeah, that was huge. Especially if you're traveling with kids, I find. I mean, I'm a bit blase about my own health sometimes but when you've got a kid you have to think about fresh air fresh water and making sure it's cool enough at night and during the day so those were a priority for us on this trip definitely and we've also got an aircon in our caravan which is very helpful we're very lucky we are very 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 lucky 
number one sort of tip is definitely stop at Toblamore mm-hmm. Station. They were fantastic. Yep. And Gem Tree was also awesome. Middleton, the pub in Middleton. In the Middleton middle pub, that was sick. Beautiful. You have to stop, get a meal, have a drink. Have a beer. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, we will be doing walkthrough of our brand new caravan, which is a Windsor Wild, which is actually a prototype. They're letting us test it out for them, which is cool. feel pretty lucky. Um, and also, I'll give you a walkthrough of the ute, which... I'm really excited about and I keep talking about but we're so busy filming this TV show that's it guys wrap it up Jordy. all right enjoy bye guys stay tuned to the channel though for more behind the scenes updates <laughs>